six Johnson and Johnson vaccines are approved and the Grand Rapids facility here is filling vials ready to be distributed all across the country. It's very exciting. Our Julie Dunmire joins us live outside of that facility where this is all happening, Julie. Doug, Grand River Aseptic Manufacturing here on the city's west side is part of that momentum that's getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine out into the, across the country, and they're super excited to be a part of it. This is the type of thing you tell your grandkids about. Tom Ross, CEO of Grand River Aseptic Manufacturing, says it's a story he can't wait to share. We're able to be selected by Operation Warp Speed in August. And then in uh, September, we had a contract with Johnson & Johnson. And this weekend, that vaccine approved, being made right here in Grand Rapids. That contract is such a big deal. They're building a new place to expand vaccine manufacturing near the Gerald R. Ford Airport. This is great news. It's uh, great news for, you know, for our country, great news for the world, and certainly great news for West Michigan. Not only is part of Johnson & Johnson's vaccine manufacturing being done here, the trial for it also happened here as well. Yep, I, I was in fact part of the vaccine group and not placebo. Eric Hudson found out in January that the shot he got as part of the trial is the real thing. I've watched all my teacher friends go through the, the two dose trial or the two dose vaccine. And like, you know, it, the one nice thing about Johnson & Johnson is just one dose. One single shot that prevents the worst parts of COVID-19. The vaccine is 85% effective for severe illnesses and 100 percent effective for the uh, hospitalization as well as death. Eric says he's grateful to be part of this moment of history happening right here. I couldn't believe that like we had a big part of the trial was like right here in Grand Rapids. So and people that are part of the group I know are driving from all over Michigan to come be a part of it. Graham is certainly excited to be part of this process as well. After the vaccine leaves their facility, it does go back to Johnson & Johnson for final distribution. And Graham also says that they're excited that they've created 125 jobs with this manufacturing process just right here in Grand Rapids alone in this last year or so. And that they expand, plan to hire at least 75 more people as they expand into that new facility near the airport. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News. All right, Julie, thank you. Bethany Christian Services 